Let's see, when should I take on an unpaid gig? How about never? Well, actually, as an independent artist, there are circumstances where you might consider taking on an unpaid gig. Hi, I'm Anitra J from the Crafty Musician blog, and today we're going to talk about when to take on that unpaid gig. <laughs> taking on an unpaid gig or a handful of unpaid gigs for a short period of time if you are just starting out as a musician. If you don't have a following, then you really can't leverage that in order to get the best gigs in town. Venues and restaurants and cafes, they're looking to hire musicians not because, well, it's nice to hire live music. They actually want the music to bring in the people. Their job is to fill seats, sell food, and sell beer. And they think that music is going to do that. And that's great for people who have a following, but for musicians who don't, well, you might not be able to get those gigs. So in order to build a following, you might have to start doing unpaid gigs. At those unpaid gigs, I suggest that you have a mailing list so that you can collect emails, that you focus on collecting those emails and start building those relationships so that you can create that following. Likewise, if you're trying to break into a new market, let's say you live in a city, you have that city on lock, all the venues know you, they love you, you're great, everyone knows you, you have a following in your city, but you want to break out into the next city, the neighboring city, you want to break out into um, the city beyond that, you want to be a more of a regional artist. Well, if you go into new cities, then you might have to start from scratch, and that means you might want to consider taking on new gigs at that point. Also, same goes for if you're trying to start a whole new sound. If you're rebranding yourself, if you have lost momentum, you lost the fan base, and you actually are starting a whole new sound, a different project, then you're going to have to start from scratch, which means that you might have to start taking on unpaid gigs. Another situation, galas, events for a cause, charities, and things of that nature. You might get contacted by those event planners wanting to have live music at their event, but not necessarily having a budget for the live music. And you have to be really smart because sometimes they actually do have a budget. You can tell because they're paying the caterers, they're paying the a venue facility, they're paying the other people that are involved in making sure the event goes off but they don't have a budget to pay you so you have to be really smart in those circumstances the only way that i would take on a gig like this that's unpaid is if the cause means something to me if it lines up with my my goal of where i want my music to go and my purpose and mission now if it doesn't line up if it doesn't have anything to do with causes that are important to me then i'm gonna go ahead and pass unless they do have a budget because it's just not something that's in my wheelhouse and lastly if you really really want to do it then do it don't be afraid to say yes to an unpaid gig if it really means something to you and if it gives you the gooeys inside and if it lines up with your overall passion and, and purpose on why you started doing music in the first place don't be afraid to say yes the truth is you're a creative you can come up with strategic and creative ideas on how to generate that compensation even though they're not paying you you can bring in sponsorships you can have strategic ideas on how to to sell merchandise so that you can uh, generate a compensation so uh, don't be afraid to say yes but also don't be afraid to say no because at the end of the day, you are a musician trying to earn money from your music, so you have to be about your business. And you don't have to uh, have asked for permission to do that, okay? So don't be afraid to say no. Go over to thecraftymusician.com for any other tidbits and um, promotional and marketing ideas for your music. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon.